A murder of crows was recently found dead in downtown St. Louis. Tonight, experts are working to figure out why it happened. Five on your side's Ryan Henson is live near the federal courthouse. And Ryan, we work, our station is right next to the federal courthouse, and probably for the last year, don't you think? It's been like the movie The Birds Out There, hundreds of them on the building. You can see them in your shot, flying all around you right now, in the trees, on the buildings. I know. I'm Go ahead. I'm glad they're showing up in the back. And uh, you say like the past year, I say the past couple years, at least since I've been here. Yeah, there's just a flocks or murders of them, as they're accurately called in groups of just birds out here. So it is quite the scene. I'll let you look at some of them because they kind of start to come out at about this time, the six o'clock in the evening time. You can see them gathering on the trees downtown. So to answer the question officially, there's only one way to find out how those birds died, and that's to wait for the test results. In the meantime, we can use a process of elimination to speculate on what we think might have happened. Reminiscent of scenes from the Alfred Hitchcock classic, crows are constantly covering downtown trees. Seasonally, crows and, and many other birds will, will group together in large flocks, especially in winter uh, before the breeding season starts in the spring. Roger Holloway, the executive director of the World Bird Sanctuary, says a die-off of many animals of the same species indicates a problem. A spokesperson for the Missouri Department of Conservation says the birds weren't physically injured and had no signs of blood. That rules out an attack or shooting. The option of poison is still on the table, but it appears only crows were impacted, diminishing the chances that that's the cause, because likely other types of birds would have been affected. Another option, a virus or illness. If there is a virus or a bacteria of some kind, um, that would spread much more quickly, just like with we all experienced with the pandemic. When we were close together, we knew that was a better chance for the virus to spread among us. Not an uncommon scenario. Many years ago, it was identified as West Nile virus was killing birds, especially crows, because they were able to do close uh, detailed uh, autopsies on them and determine that it was a virus that was attacking their brain. For now, we must wait for the test results before getting to the bottom of this phenomenon. So the Department of Conservation says if there is a no timetable on exactly how long it will take to complete these tests, but we can only imagine it's going to take at least several weeks to get done, but we will update you once those results come in right here on Five on Your Side. Until then, Mike, I guess we'll just have to keep on guessing. All right, Ryan, thank you.